I think the concept of let's wait and see is pretty directly relevant to the next class of drugs that we wanted to talk about, which is RNAi. Yeah, RNAi is uh, is another incredibly interesting class. Uh, it refers to RNA interference. So to put it all in context, there's a cascade of information that goes from DNA to RNA to the creation of proteins. So RNA helps make proteins like GPCRs and little peptides that bind to GPCRs in the body. Um, and we just talked about how many drugs target uh, GPCR. So what RNA interference does is it moves the process further upstream. Instead of tackling the disease by targeting the protein, you move one step up and interfere with the creation of that protein by attacking messenger RNA that would uh, translate the, the, the genetic code into a protein. So it's referred to as gene silencing. And Christine, it's, uh, it's very complex. Uh, it also won a Nobel Prize in 2006 to, to put that into context too. The best analogy I, I have is very, very crude. It's a, a leaky faucet. So the, the example here is, you know, let, let's say your, your sink is broken, um, the pipe is bursting, right? One solution is to put a bucket under the sink and you know, you're going to have to wait for it to fill up. You'll have to dump it out and put it back under the sink. So that's one way that you can solve that problem. Or you can turn off the faucet. So in the case of RNA interference, the analogy I like to use is that you turn off the faucet. You go a step further up in the process and, and try to solve the, the disease there. Well, if the analogy holds true, that seems like a much better solution.